be on time. We are fighting to end hunger in our state. It is an everyday fight to so many people working to make sure people don't go hungry. This weekend, you can do your part to help people in need, and it doesn't take much. ABC 15's Katie Connor is at St. Mary's Food Bank with a lot more. Katie, uh, this is something a lot of us maybe don't think about. Yet yeah, one in four children right here in Arizona live below poverty level. And for adults, it's actually one in five. And that's why places like St. Mary's Food Bank is so important to help families around the valley who need help. We're here with Jerry Brown from St. Mary's Food Bank. Donations right now are very low. Why is that? Right. This is the time of the year. A lot of people remember us during the holidays, Thanksgiving and Christmas. We get so much food that we're able to kind of carry through the first three to four months of the year. But now we're into May. We're into summer, the toughest time for food banks and this one drive that's coming up this weekend really helps us restock. When was the last time you've seen the shelves behind us this empty before? Yeah, you know, this, is the, this is kind of a yearly thing. This is, this is where we're at. But we are low this year and uh, people can really help us out tomorrow. And explain how people can help us out. It's the 25th annual letter carriers drive tomorrow. If you can just go to your mailbox, leave a bag of food. You don't have to leave your driveway. You don't have to leave your pajamas. All you need to do is go and drop a bag of food off. The letter carrier will pick up the food when he drops off your mail on Saturday and all of the food comes back to all of these food banks across Arizona. Almost 2 million pounds last year. We need the help. Okay, thank you so much. So easy to take action. Just put some non-perishable food items out at your mailbox and it will get picked up tomorrow. Reporting from Phoenix, Katie Connor, ABC 15, Arizona. Well, we've got clear skies on this Friday morning, but I'm tracking the return of poor air quality and a warm-up into the weekend. I've got your most accurate forecast.